Greetings, salutations. It is Friday. I apologize for not putting a video up sooner, but I gotta be honest with you, it hasn't really been a banner week for me. Actually, July sucked. Uh, a lot of, a lot of stuff in July that didn't go real well. Started, started off when I worked at OT or 18 days straight there. I still haven't got some pay, and my company owes me 55 bucks. I keep filling in forms and trying to get it from them, and they're just... It's not my supervisor, it's my area supervisor. She's really horrible. And then, of course, on the 5th, the fiancé left. And then, uh, of course, Monday, Pogo died, which I'm really having problems with. I come home, I expect to see the dog, the dog's not there. When I go to bed, I look at my days off. I, I didn't know when to go to bed because usually I take the dog out. The routine wasn't the same, and it was, it was really bothering me bothered me a lot actually so Tuesday I took Pearl to the scooter shop and went down pretty cool guys uh, like a lot of scooters and they do motorcycles too ATVs um, but they're pretty cool and I dropped it off and uh, you know went about my business and uh, they called me Thursday and the guy says the Wayfarer pin sheared off or broke off Wayfarer pin I think that's what it is it's in the motor he says you could uh, you could tear down the motor, get the piece, put it in there, but by then you'd be talking a lot of time, a lot of parts, a lot of pieces. He says you should just cheaper to put in a new motor, and he says it looks like a manufacturer defect. He says you should probably just call the company and see if you can get the motor replaced uh, completely. I'm like, are you kidding me? 77 miles on this scooter. So I said, listen, I said I bought that from a place in Lakeland. I said they were horrible after you bought it. Before that, they were great, but wouldn't do anything. He had some numbers for the company. It's a Gorilla Motor Works scooter, but they changed the Wolf scooters. They're actually located right here in Florida. So, he says, well, I tried calling the number. He says, I can't get a hold of them. I said, well, why don't you call up to the place I bought it from, because I don't seem to be able to get them to do anything. Being another, you know, repair shop, maybe you could talk to the parts guy, and he'd get a number for you to call. He says, all right. He says, I'll call and see about what they want to do with this, seeing how you only got 77 miles on it, I said it should be covered by warranty, they should give you a new motor, he said, I, I, I wouldn't, I was like, okay, I said, well, let me know, that was yesterday, I haven't heard back yet, so, <sighs> I gotta be honest with you, man, this is, this, this just seems like there's a lot conspiring against me here right now, I seem to be in a bit of a, I don't know, bad mojo or something, I don't know what's going on, but, it's really taking the wind out of my sails. I gotta be honest with you. My my appetite has now dropped off. I'm just all I want to do is sleep. I gotta work. I gotta do the next four nights are gonna be on patrol. I just don't have it in my tank to go. I just I'm just I'm tired. It was this was a lot, especially this last week. It just too much. I mean, but the whole scooter thing. I mean, I was just floored by that. I mean, good lord, 77 miles on, and the and the, and the whole motor has to be replaced. Are you serious? Really? On a brand new scooter? What's the odds of anybody else getting that crap but me? You know, I just wanted to be on two wheels. You know, I mean, I don't think I was asking a lot. Obviously, I was asking too much, because it certainly ain't going that way. And I hate to whine, but, God, it takes a lot, man. You only, you, you only take so much on your plate before you just get to your point. You're like, really, that's enough. And, uh, like I said, it wasn't... The whole thing with Pogo there at the end was really, really bad. It was not... Not bad for her, but bad for me. It just, you know, you have, you have, I don't even know how to put it into words. But then the scooter thing on top of that, getting cheated out of money from my own workplace, and then fiance leaving. It just, it was, July was not a good month for me. Um, I'm glad it's over. Sure hope things pick up from here, but I don't know about the scooter thing. We may, I may just be screwed here because if they don't want to get a new motor, I, I'm, I'm in it. I'm in it more than it's worth because I had extra work done on the registration and everything. So I mean, I'm into this. Cause I'm never going to get my money out of it unless I run it for a couple of years. And if I've got to pay to get it fixed, it's I, I got to really seriously think whether or not I can dump any more money into it. If I don't, then I'm still paying on this this scooter. I mean, you know, I took out this credit card thing to pay for it, so I actually own the scooter. Um, but I mean. How much money am I going to dump into this thing before? It's ridiculous. I should have just bought a used motorcycle, but I didn't know if I was going to enjoy two-wheeling. Plus, you got to have a motorcycle endorsement before you can ride on the streets. And I didn't want to buy a motorcycle 
and then not do well on the test or maybe didn't like it. You know, I was trying to get out of it the cheapest way because I, did, I wasn't sure if I'm going to do it. But of course, when I got on the scooter, I mean, I loved it. I love being on two wheels. The sensation you get as you go around corners, stuff, it is absolutely enthralling. I can understand why so many people who ride bikes, motorcycles, um, say all the time that it's better therapy than going to a psychiatrist because it really is it is great but it has been an absolute horror show for me it has not gone well i mean i don't know like i said i'm just spent i just mentally i just i'm done i just don't have much more to give and i've got to rally because you have no choice in life i mean you know i gotta work i gotta pay my bills you know i don't have a choice i can't sit around and twiddle my thumbs so it's just, this was a lot. It was a lot. So, that's the update. Pearl's terminal. I mean, I don't know. I maybe have to pull the plug and just... I don't know. That's really gonna... I don't know. Anyway, that's the update. So, I don't know if I'm gonna post another video here while I'm working. Um, you know, I probably will try to. I mean, it's getting real good getting back into the video since the fiance left there. So, it was giving me something to do and had stuff going on. But be between what, what happened with my dog and, and the scooter thing, I gotta be honest with you, I, I just don't know if I'm gonna have anything positive to say right off the bat. Um, still alive and kicking. So, I um, mean, you know, I'm not throwing in the towel. I'm just. Oi. I'm going to need to give that all a good think. <laughs> that's that's a lot. That's a lot for me to handle at one time. So hopefully work will go well. It's going to be warm and sunny, so there will be no rain to keep the idiots in. But next week, um, there's talking rain around, it's starting around Tuesday or Wednesday, and it looks like we're talking tropical rain for almost a week after that. So after that, it's just going to be wet, <laughs> I guess. Uh, still on the diet thing. I don't know if I mentioned this after the fiance left. I wanted to get back on my diet. I don't think I told you guys this. Uh, I had a lot of stuff going on. Um, I actually lost 12 pounds in 12 days. Um, I put a few of those pounds back on this week because the stress level, but I'll get back on it. I'm still thinking I could do the 50 to 60 pounds by the end of the year. The right things are going there. Just the stress alone will probably make me thin as a board. Jeez. Anyway, I'm sorry to ramble on, but. There you go. An update from me. I'm going to go throw myself in the rain locker and then I'm going to go to bed before work and just try to rally a little bit. I hope you guys are having a much better week, month than me. Up to this, up to the point of the fiancé leaving, I was actually having a very, very productive year. Uh, but July was rough. The only thing I can say the upside, because I do like to try to look at the positive side of things, is maybe I'm just getting all this done in one month and then from here on out the rest of it will go smoothly. I'm going to have to cling to that because that's the only life preserver I got at the moment. All right. Take care. I'll talk to you beautiful people in the next video.